could be walking away with one million pounds if you play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All you have to do is pick up the phone and call. Join me in Brick Kiln Lane, Dudley, the epicentre of one of the biggest earthquakes ever recorded in the UK. That's after the break. Lots of soap tonight. Emma Dale at Double Dose of Coronation Street and in the middle at 8 tonight with Trevor MacDonald. But first, Central News. Did the earth move for you? It did for millions of people across England and Wales at just before one o'clock this morning. And Brick Kiln Lane in Dudley is where it all started. I'm Bob Warman at what scientists call the epicenter of the earthquake, reporting on how you felt the biggest tremor for a decade. It was uh, a rumbling which woke us up and uh, sounded like a train coming through the house, to be honest. The whole house seemed to, to move. It was just a um, peculiar sensation. Thought, what on earth is going on? Why did it happen and could it happen again? I'm Luella Bailey, finding out the answers to those questions. Welcome to Central News at 6. From the award-winning team, live from Birmingham, this is Central News at 6. At precisely 12.53 this morning, Britain experienced its biggest earthquake in a decade, and it was centred right here in the West Midlands. Experts put the epicentre, the eye of the storm, so to speak, in this street in Dudley. Behind me, a pub which looks like it suffered badly. In fact, the crooked house was crooked long before this tremor. Dudley was the centre of it, but the effects of the quake were felt in West Wales and even parts of Europe, and by an amazing coincidence, it happened two years to the day since the last big quake which centred on Warwick. It wasn't as powerful as this one. So far, it seems the quake caused just minor structural damage, but thousands of people called the emergency services, and it was certainly a night the people of Dudley in particular will never forget. <laughs> It was at six minutes to one this morning that Britain was hit by its largest earthquake since 1990. This was the effect the force of the tremor had on this security camera in Birmingham city centre. The first place people turn when they want to know what's going on is of course central news. Unfortunately we're not usually here at one o'clock in the morning which is why our security staff had a busy night answering all your phone calls. We had the first one from Acox Green, the first call, and then we had them from all over the West Mids, really, um, right out to Daventry, and th then we had a call from Nottingham to say that they had felt the same thing over there. Good morning, it's BRMB Birmingham. I'm Tiger Tim with you until six. Over the road at BRMB, uh, DJ Tiger Tim was about to go on air when the quake struck. He spent most of the nighttime show taking calls from anxious listeners. You had a call from one of my colleagues as well, didn't you? We did. Emma Jessen called me up and she didn't know what was going on. It woke her up out of bed and uh, she was very scared. So I just calmed her down. She was all right. <laughs> but Emma wasn't the only one to feel a little unnerved. My husband was talking about it this morning and he said that um, he had such a paralytic type of fear for the first few seconds he couldn't move. I've got a, a glass um, case with all glasses in the glasses rattle like. I woke up and I thought something that had fell in the house but uh, obviously it was a little bit more than that. To be honest I thought it was a bomb. Oh that's what like the roof was caving in or something. In Dudley, the epicentre of the quake, several people turned up at the local police station to inquire what was going on. They were fairly shook up and fairly frightened, and some of them actually came in in their, in their bedclothes. Um, so, <laughs> quite a spectacle, apparently. After all the excitement, residents in Fort Street in Walsall Wood were just getting back to sleep when half a chimney collapsed and fell onto a parked car. It was one of several chimneys across the black country to come crashing down. Thankfully, there have been no reports of any significant injuries. Robin Powell, Central News. Joining me now is the leader of Dudley Council, uh, Tim Sunter. Tim, Tim presumably your, your phone has started going...